Hello and uh, welcome back guys, uh, just figured I'd do a bit of a quick update because unfortunately I've kind of let myself down and I haven't been recording everything that I have been up to like uh, I really wanted to. So unfortunately because of stuff kind of going on in my personal life I've not really been keeping up to date with my uh, hazy town beer like uh, I wanted to, uh, a few things we're delayed by a couple of days. I was meant to do the second dry hop on day eight. It ended up being on day 11. Uh, but I wanted to kind of rec record that just because, you know, I find it interesting to watch, you know, hopefully, you know, that's the kind of thing you guys like to see. It's probably why you're here. So I've just dumped some of the uh, trub. Uh, it was at 14 degrees. I just dumped some of it. Uh, there's still quite a just out of shot. I'll show you in a second. Uh, the hops that are in the bottom. So I've just dropped it down to four degrees. Uh, glycol chill is running, so hopefully it won't take too long. Uh, I'll dump it again tomorrow and then transfer it into the keg. The keg is uh, just down by my feet, full of sanitizer. Uh, I'll connect the CO2, push that all out, and do a closed transfer. Obviously, with it being a NEPA, I need to really make sure that I'm getting little to no oxygen in that uh, at all. So, I've got the uh, sheet in, in front of me, and uh, I got my final gravity, which was spot on at 10:14. Just obviously, you know, as as you guys know, is uh, if you watched the earlier videos, I did miss my original gravity by five points. So instead of it being 6%, it came out of 5.4. Uh, I had a little sample of the beer and it, and it tastes lovely. Um, so when it's carbonated, it'll be a bit different, but hopefully the kind of the balance won't be a million miles away, but we shall see. I also wanted to just do a little vlog today as well. Obviously just away from this beer, uh, I am putting a another beer a Mertzen or Marzen uh, into well I'm sending it away for a competition so I'm part of the uh, Liverpool Home Brewers Club and we're doing a pardon me a competition with the East Midlands or West Midlands Brewing Club and uh, we're so there's eight from our team eight from theirs Eight categories or eight styles of beer, and one of us from each team is brewing that style. So I'm brewing the Marzen Merton, and someone else from that homebrew team is brewing one as well. And then basically everyone gets a beer, so we all end up with 16 beers, two of each. And uh, yeah, perfect, just in time for Christmas, so that'll be good. And I tried it this morning, and it tastes amazing I, w I am so so happy with how it turned out the aroma is well little to none to be to be honest there's, there's barely anything on the nose and and the clean uh, taste is I've, I've not made a lager like that before so yeah really really made up if you, if you don't know uh, a Mertzen is like the traditional Oktoberfest beer the only thing that let me down with that beer though is I was aiming for 6% and it only came out of 5 you know as you can see there's a common theme here with my beers and uh, I'm just shooting my original gravity but you know I, I learn as I go on and uh, I record everything down and so maybe I'll just have to lower me mash efficiency going into future brews but yeah anyway back to the uh, competition so obviously that's going to be really good fun to try all those beers but then my beer is also getting sent away to a BJCP judge so I'll be getting some feedback and when I get some feedback I will give a little update and maybe I'll have a little taste of the beer and read some of the feedback and just uh, yeah just let you guys know how I get on uh, so before I ramble on too much uh, thank you very much oh and uh, also uh, oh god forget the name that was Crafty Fox 
I think. You just subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. My first one. If you are from the UK, send us a message and uh, I'll send you a beer just to say thank you. I'll send you the competition beer and then you can you can have a have a go of it yourself. So yeah. Uh, see you next time. Cheers. So there's quite a lot of uh, hot matter still there, even after just dumping it out. So I'm cold crashing it now to four degrees. So we're almost there. I'll let that settle for another day, dump it again, and then rack it off. I've got some natural carbonation in there, about eight PSI. So hopefully it won't take too long in the keg before I can sample it.